Now this is something that we're really excited about. This should be a brand new diesel stove. This is a reflex diesel stove. Uh, this particular model is mounted on the bulkhead. There are other ones that just sits on the floor as well, but we opted for this one. Quite expensive investment, but also we might be living on the boat the last winter before we depart. So uh, this thing will enable us to do that. That would be absolutely impossible without heater in the boat. Uh, the Swedish winters are minus degrees and a lot of ice and snow. These guys are famous for being uh, really reliable. Uh, most people just turn them on when it gets cold and uh, turn them off uh, when summer is coming. So yeah, that's for the next project. Hey darling. Hello. What are you up to? Um, well, we decided to, um, to buy a diesel stove. For the boat, we are setting up from Sweden after all, so it's not always like 25 or 30 degrees Celsius around here. So we bought a diesel stove and uh, I'm just starting out uh, installing uh, the diesel tank through the stove. So it's going to be in the V-berth and uh, there will be a copper tube inside the... Uh... I don't know what it's uh, wardrobe. Tube, wardrobe, inside our <laughs> wardrobe, yeah. yeah. A copper tubing down to the other side in the saloon, right over here somewhere, a diesel stove will be placed. All right, so now we've got the copper tubing installed as well. That was a bit of a pain to get right. It doesn't, doesn't help if you have a kink in the tube, I'll tell you that much. Um, I actually ended up having to cut it off because there was a kink in it up here and it just would not fit at all so it needs to be exactly a circle exactly round but now it's there hopefully that one doesn't leak <laughs> i'll test that at some point i also drilled a hole down here just pulled the copper tube through and uh, there it is now and then it goes down here through our wardrobe and comes out down there. Is that as far as I come? 